Giro ideal y lo hace en este momento. Va a intentarlo por afuera, se cierra. Se mete oh. y lo tocaron. Sal se estira en la curva 1. Sal y Calvani los dos. Lo toca Canapino. Calvani también involucrado en esta. Es vueltas de competencia. Fíjense allá atrás. Atrás. Bonet y Mario Valle. Ay, se lo encuentra se otra vez. Lo encontró cruzado. Mira vos. La mala fortuna. Y el resto que pasa como. Exacto. Es para evitar un mal mayor. Un auto que hace un trompo y en lugar de partirlo al medio, tiene la reacción de... Ya se pone, se pone de costado el auto de Chapur. Se pone de costado, ¿eh? Y el tema es quién lo esquiva y quién no lo puede esquivar. Y uh, no lo puede esquivar muy fuerte, ¿eh? paso. Es una, una piña muy... Sexta colocación. Atención con esa situación. Ha caído el sexto lugar el líder. Fernández Bordó... Oh. Pre... Bueno, ahí sí se pasa de largo... Lo pudo sacar. Molina. ¿Eh? Lo pudo sacar, afortunadamente. De competencia. Con... Oh. Ay, mirá cómo viene allí con inconvenientes. Echeverse. Echeverse, a ver si lo puede eh. regresar. Quedó... Giró casi cuatro décimas. Oh. Ay, mirá cómo se, no. se tocaron. Mirá se tocaron bustos. ¿Eh? Sí, se rompió el auto de. Lamentablemente se rompió el auto. Viene ganando la carrera. ¿Eh? que va por adentro, fíjese cómo va batallando va por adentro y lo va superando y se va a pasar y se va a pasar y atrás también bueno, tremendo, oh, lo ah. volcó lo volcó, Barcisa pé no fundo e já dando show e olha só, tem piloto indo pra grama opa, que girada bonita, opa. vai lá pancada, nesse momento, pancada, pancada forte pancada no início forte. de prova, hein? é o Escort número 47 nós temos aí no Escort 4 Júlio Martini, com essa é, manobra, ficou um tempo, pouco mais é... para trás, mas trouxe Silvano Brock Ui, junto. Ui, tomou um toque do Corsa. Ali. Olha só, tomou um toque nesse momento prejuízo, do Corsa, hein? prejuízo para a equipe MC. Imagem lá da curva 1, ele vinha atrás do Vitor Marques, colocou por dentro, mergulhou confiante, a traseira do carro foi embora. É. Nada da reta, já vinha rodando o carro do William Araújo, aí mergulhou o Liber. Houve o toque lateral entre eles. E os dois saíram rodando até por conta de um segundo toque também. É isso, esse segundo toque acaba desestabilizando o carro. Correr. Esse... Olha só, mas passou direto ali. Aparentemente já tinha algum problema na suspensão dianteira, né? Olha, ele até tentou um contra-esterço para evitar uma rodada. Tive... E o Rajão Mascara largou tão bem que puxou para a linha de fora para fazer tração. Olha o vivaco onde estava. Ele pegou o vácuo ali no carro do, do Miguel Paludo. O Ramon Alcaraz parece que teve um toquezinho ali com o Carlos Campos. Não, 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 não vi. Confesso que não vi. Com esportes, olha aí. Aqui por dentro do Lino Pires. Acabou havendo toque entre ele e o Nelsinho Monteiro. Ele escalou o carro do Nelsinho Monteiro. E 88. Olha aí a disputa de posição do Josimar Júnior com o Léo Sanches. O Lineu Pires saiu da pista para evitar um toque no carro do Léo Sanches. Acabou batendo sozinho lá na proteção de pneus. Léo Sanches, que era o segundo colocado da categoria Rookie, enquanto o Josimar Júnior é pior na temporada. Opa, e aí problema, ficou sem a roda traseira direita o Edu Guedes, olha onde foram parar. Os carros do Edu Guedes e do mundo. Vai um pouquinho lá fora o Leonardo Herman, e aí é problema. Faltou espaço para todo mundo, Thiago Mendonça. Carro, mas uma pancada para mexer com o emocional de qualquer piloto, Thiago Mendonça. Sem dúvida, ele deita agora. É, deve estar... TV não deixa passar nenhuma, hein? Olha só, ele vinha lado a lado com o Wagner Pontes. Acabou tomando um chega pra lá. Foi com vontade pra fora da pista e cruzou a pista. Olha hum. só, a batida seca no guardrail ali pelo lado de dentro. É isso. Na décima terceira... Na quarta passagem, perdão, estamos na décima terceira agora. Opa! Opa! E não era por aí não, Seba Malucelli. E não era por aí não, Matheus Roque. Faltou espaço pra todo mundo. Seba tá fora da corrida. Ela. Ah, no Gerson. O Gerson foi pra cima dela, mas fechou a porta. O Gerson vinha um pouquinho à frente já. Rapaz, que confusão. Chaves. Veja só, do carro do Eric Santos. Vamos tentar entender o que aconteceu. Foi lá fora o Caio Castro, foi lá fora também o Caio Chaves. Ah, no final a Antonella atinge o Eric Santos também. A Antonella empurra o Eric. O espaço para emparelhar com o Sadak Leite. Quem olha, hum, vai faltar espaço para todo mundo. Tava escrito que não ia caber todo mundo nesse enredo. O toque ali, veja só. Lá na curva da mata. Não, ali sozinho, né? O pneu furado. O pneu traseiro direito ali. Isso é a menor condição, já. Do... Essa é de traseira, né? É, que ele sai um pouquinho, pegou a grama, não tem o que fazer. Até pega mais velocidade o caminhão e...
E a placa que foi derrubada é justamente uma placa da FPT, que é a nova, a nova patrocinadora da, da Fórmula Truck. Mas falando... E aí, o irmão dele, Márcio Rampon, ele escorregou mais ou menos, fez um 360, como está fazendo quase aí, e saiu, depois rodou de novo, lá perto da entrada da Curva da Vitória, e aí ainda venceu a corrida. Esses irmãos Rampon... É bom para sair do gravel, quando ele está no turno... There we go, he just couldn't commit to it, and then once he had to, because the grass was looming. Whoa! Oh, has a moment at the start of the lap, and uh, recovering over the grass. And only a few of them have actually been timed. He's been doing some, some set-up work. We're just seeing the replay, Sorry, Ted. We need to come in. Just seeing the re We're just seeing... I just want to... Tag from behind, was it Alex? Oh, it's just uh, the merest of contacts. Yeah, the put, merest of contacts. He put himself into a risky situation, I feel, by being on the outside of the track. The ins sent Ricardo's fault, and it was a kind of aggressive, over-aggressive move, but he was ahead. Exited turn two. We had a spin as well at Spoon. Massaro leader in the 1-2-4 car, one of many. Let's take a look then. It was going into Spoon, and who was it that spun? It was Norikazu. Another of the corners, Osaka drive. Get a look back at what happened. Oh dear, came into shot already facing the wrong way. Uh, the mid Sapporo entered car. James, oh, big move potentially on here for a oh, tag. The 152 and the 199 come together. That was the 199 of Kim. And there is how the 150 car ended up in a spin. Amuri. Uh, lighting up the risk. Here's a replay of what happened at turn one. Komatsu, all oh, contact there, sending Komatsu into the wall hard at the first cheat in the 143. And this was what happened to send Ryuchi Kunihiro into a spin as well. So it's all kicking off at the tail. And, uh, and I think that was Cold Max. And oh, the 125 car having a moment there at the triangle as well. And Imada with Imada looking to the inside contact between them. Oh dear, Imada thought he saw the door open. Penultimate lap, a replay of the 150 car in a spin. That's a just getting the car. Oh, that was a big collision between Mura. And Kunihira. Number two here at Sonoma is underway. Walsh quickly grabs the lead. Catania slots in into second and a spin at the back of this pack. I think that's Biundo who's gone around. Yeah, that was a win. More power, less downforce than their GT3 Ooh. Cousins. And yeah. that did not end nicely for either. No, it wasn't shaping up. The pieces, Johnny O goes through. Wow. Oh, Whoa. more contact. That's Daskalos and Rothberg. Oh, that's such a shame. Justin Dunn. Review, final lap. Schultes in the Corvette. Bang. I think that may be the easiest call that the stewards have had all day. As we watch it, Right there, it looked to me like Zach Anderson just admitted to mid-corner speed going at the back of Kai Steve. Isn't play of an incident that occurred a few laps ago. This is Colin Harrison up over the curb <laughs> and into the number 36 car. Yeah, that's James Clay behind the wheel. Mm. Lander came from way back. I'm sure Shannon was expecting that one. This is going to be side by side. I believe that's the 22 of Devin Anderson. Oh, oh Anderson was sideways. Oh, oh, that's a big hit there in that the tire box. Nasty lick. Not only behind it, but almost on the inside there. Paran looking for a gap, and Lebel gets all crossed up, and there's contact, and around goes the KTM. It was sideways. It came across the front of the Mercedes, that, and a big, big dive. This time it works. This time it's legit. For Bremer, contact behind us. Pret gets turned around. Martin Koch was on the inside. Contact between the two. Heading for the braking zone. Homola to the inside. Is there room? Around goes Matheson. Homola tries to take evasive action. Now, was that a mid pack? But they've all survived turn one. Now into turn two. Tamburini from Koffler. And then Simon Birch up to third. Whoops, driver in the background. One car off the road. That possibly was the vanishing accomplished. Goes through, goes wide, and Albert goes through. Do they touch? They certainly spin. And Loris Hesmans picks his moment and goes through, off in avoidance. Goes Philippe. In the first virage, and there is a touchette with 
Oh oui, mais en fait, c'est une touchette entre la BMW et l'une des McLaren Elite qui vient percuter l'Alpine de Lorraine. Et on se bat jusqu'au bout avec euh, notamment... Oh, et un accrochage avec Jean-Laurent Navarro, avec euh, Raphaël Martinez et avec une autre... L'attaque de Benjamin Larich. Ivan Ekelchik qui est là sur la ligne extérieure, qui veut forcer et qui veut rester. Et les deux qui se touchent. Et euh, ouais, en synchronisation, on n'était pas... Nicholas oh, Barnes wow. cleans the car, but it fires oh, him off. Turn two. Yeah, bang. Maxime Martin qui a dit, je me suis fait toucher, on va voir. Ah, ah oui, il y a, là. Il y a la Lamborghini en plus à gauche, la voiture, la voiture de Grasso. Et on voit Christian Aguilar qui est en tête à queue, il faudrait surveiller... Euh... On va voir la position de drone. Qu'est-ce qu'il s'est passé pour que la aérienne qui nous permet souvent de, de bien comprendre ce qui s'est passé C'est vraiment un entonnoir hein, quand on va vers le deuxième virage. Quelques pilotes qui ont choisi. Et puis il y a la touchette. On va voir nous retrouver quelque chose. Oh, oh et Charles Wirt Charles Wirt avec une crevaison à l'arrière gauche, je pense. Euh, Charles Wirt, Sheldon Van Der Linde et Dries Van Thor. Il y a une touchette là aussi, et eh bien ça s'anime pour le moment, après un peu plus de 30 minutes de course, regardez les éléments de carrosserie qui s'envolent là, Charles Hertz qui essaie de revenir, attention le capot arrière qui est totalement détruit, il y a une crevaison à l'arrière gauche, la lame, ou en tout cas le, le bas de pièce que Robert, vous avez dit qu'il était chaud, allez sur Robert, regardez. Contact, là, hein. ah, là. Ouais, bah ah, oui. oui. Ouais, bah, là. Et ça crève en fait. Et il y a une crevaison à partir de cet instant. On le surveillera qui a perdu plusieurs places. Il a dû laisser. Uh, replay con un paio di contatti proprio in frenata in occasione di curva 3. Poi un testa coda generato proprio a centro gruppo. E in queste situazioni è sempre difficile evitare poi la vettura ferma con la vettura numero 83. E anche Jean-Marc Bourgino qui il contatto proprio del, nelle retrovie che ha portato a un ulteriore testa coda. Ecco la vettura numero 11 di Bourgino. Pilota transalpino di categoria senior, che è finito purtroppo in testa coda assieme da Nicola Schileo, che però poi è stato risucchiato da, dal resto del gruppo. E qui il contatto proprio tra Pedrini e Burlar, che ha messo fine alla gara. Poi il replay con Lambrughi, che è andato invece a perdere la vettura completamente da solo. E dunque errore da parte del pilota numero 8. Just turning in, he realizes something's going to go wrong there. He backs out. He knows something's coming. Lanfia diving, trying to get on the inside line. There was no room there whatsoever. And the two wheels tagged. And Lanfia comes now nose to nose. Just lost out there to Saud. I think he might have. Oh, no, he hasn't. They've touched. The two teammates have gone side by side and touched through Sorrel Sweep. Van Royen being sent onto the point of view as they come down onto the brakes. She runs up the inside. No, it's all on her own. I thought they might have been helped out. She just went in there a little bit too hot, and the young lady unfortunately spoils her weekend in a big way there. And we see that many cars are really on the last line. There is the uh, AT Porsche, and there is the Trier with Berührung. The two yellow Porsche, I have to look at who that was. Spitzweise, now in the third position from outside, from the Hecktrieblerkasse, the first 330er BMW, and again, there is one out. One driver, four wheels off, way off in the grass, so the Driver's right, you see him spinning. It's one of the Jay Howard cars off the racetrack coming through turn number nine. He's able to keep, take the point lead away. Johnson is here. Oh, driver spun. Ethan Ho, he tapped the wall. Ethan Ho just, I believe, tapped the wall. Hunter Yaney. Couple of races two years ago. Oh, we got contact. Four. Yeah, it's three. In the straight line. Oh, he's breaking late. Ooh, he made it. Oh no, this is a bad accident. And three wide, three wide, three wide. Oh no! Face up. That's a little bit of a gap, but keeping his line. Oh! That was Kohashi. That was just great anticipation and really got hooked up. Oh. The race Logan Stanley goes around on the front straight away as he tries to keep it down. Everybody gonna clear a couple. Junior and Katie Hettinger. Katie gets into the corner much better, gets into the side of Renfrew, and there you can see Ashton Higgins, who honestly, I don't really know where Ashton was gonna go there. He was just riding on the bottom, and I believe was side by side there with Tyler Tank. Get it one more time as it's obviously after the incident. Steckley's backing up, and you can see right there, just a lot of frustration for Tanner, who 
was way back again. This, this is off turn two, up in the top ten. Garner and Bulger, the first two to make contact. And honestly, what an impressive job there from Ashton Higgins to be able to check. Here's a look at exactly what happened. He got loose, caught the left front side, dragged it all the way along the rear. Catalano was able to climb from the car. That was today that he wants to redeem himself from that missed Trouble. Shift. We've got a situation, three cars, four cars, hit at a ton down in turn number one. Among the cars that are involved, the 36 machine. Opa! Pedro Bala. No chão, Pedro. Más preciso que Borja, el, el, sobre todo en el primer entreno. Muy ahí, tenemos una, una caída. caída. No sé si ha sido Samuel Díaz. O oh, estaba detrás de Guillem Eril. Sí. En el último giro, en muchas batallas, ahí tenemos la repetición, como aparentemente es una curva en la que se te puede ir fácilmente de delante, ¿no, Borja? Bueno, una... Already up as well. Oh, hello. Piggyback rights. Oh, that's going to hurt in the morning. Jello's at the bottom of the hill. Oh, and uh, Bartes goes down. So Bartes tips over. Oh, and uh, Scolo goes down. He tags the back marker. He's got about 17 on Hill for the final time here. Oh, and offline and into the fence. Well, you can't knock his effort, Maurizio Scolo. Yeah, he swings it back, but it's Sasha Koonin who buries it in there. Everybody looks like they're safely through. And as we say that, Lucas Koonin goes down, takes uh, Koika with it. Corsi ninth, or Oriol Oliver in tenth ahead of Mark. Oh, wow. Oh, and it was a big one. Brilliant riding by Sasha Kuhn and the wage. Oh, and he's gone down, and it's that mistake that that lost the world champion Andrea Adamo. And he's gone down, just bowls himself over the bars. He was just taking it a bit too. A lot of tired bodies crossing the line. Whoa. And Tim Guy said, just, well, that looked a rather weary. Oh. Oh, what the hell happened there? That was Benoit Pacharel. Wow. Screen, he goes double, triple, oh, when he tripled, ooh, when he tripled, he got cross-rutted, then weight went forward. He actually up short, watch his seat, see how he comes up short, almost goes over the handlebars, he goes down, collects Adam Cianciarulo, and then there's nothing that can happen. Look at Chase Sexton laid down there, Jet Lawrence gets caught up as well. Monster Energy Yamaha Star Racer. Oh. Not yet. Well, oh. down goes Cooper, right in front of the start gates. Justin Newton.